I work with a lot of spiders. This is a banana spider. Huge ones. That's a big spider. And highly venomous ones. So if I told you that I used to be afraid of them, you probably wouldn't believe me, right? Well, what if I told you that one of the spiders that helped cure my arachnophobia was actually one of the largest in the world? And I wanna make a case for why it might just cure yours too. When we think of tarantulas, giant hairy spiders come to mind. For a lot of people, this is the stuff of nightmares. But around the world, these are by far the most popular invertebrate pet, even among people who'd normally say they're afraid of spiders. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and while I've always been fascinated by insects and reptiles, spiders were one group of animals that creeped me out for a very long time. But as a biologist working to uncover the secrets of the natural world, I needed to be comfortable with these eight-legged arachnids, or that fear was going to forever keep me from finding some of the most amazing creatures. See, all around us, some of the weirdest life forms are living out their lives relatively unseen in what I call the secret world. It's almost like a parallel dimension that runs alongside ours, because we walk past it every single day without even realizing, even in our very own backyards. See, the world can be a rich and fascinating place once we take a closer look, but for me, and probably for you if you're watching this video, spiders are one thing that cause us to keep our distance. Tarantulas may be massive, but in the western hemisphere, they're actually one of the most gentle of all spiders, and even come in some incredibly beautiful colors. I'm actually in Ecuador exploring the tropical dry forest looking for one of the most stunning arachnids I've ever seen the Purple Bloom Bird Eater, a rare but gorgeous creature. Along the way, I stumbled upon a brilliant golden tarantula, and she was such a sweetheart that I think you'll see exactly why these spiders are such amazing animals. Have a look at this. That is a beautiful golden tarantula. This is a huge spider. That would freak a lot of people out, but I want to take a chance to kind of talk about how these animals really are something we shouldn't be fearing. It's easy to see a jumping spider and think it's cute, even a wolf spider. But with those beady little eyes, big hairy legs, and huge fangs, yeah, I could see why you'd be afraid of a giant tarantula. The tarantulas are the biggest spiders in the world, but as with a lot of giants, they really are gentle. Have a look at how she's hanging out here in my hands. Pretty much just sitting there, occasionally walking over them, but not really giving me any threat displays. She's not kicking off or urticating hairs. This is not a spider that is overly threatened or stressed. Now, she doesn't like this interaction, and you know, one of the things I say is like, we don't need to pick up spiders. I do this for demonstration purposes to show that they're not monsters. Most of the time, they really wanna be left alone, be out in the environment hunting for insects and other things. This one would probably eat more than just insects. This size, I wouldn't put amphibians or small reptiles past her, maybe even birds. But the thing is, these guys are just predators that wanna hunt for their prey out in habitat. Humans aren't prey for these spiders. They want nothing to do with us. And as you can see right here, as long as I am just an extension of her environment, she's actually pretty content kind of poking around with her legs look at the way the spider moves for a lot of people that would really creep them out but I find it absolutely fascinating and one way that I like to think about it that makes it a little bit less creepy is it almost looks mechanical like these guys are made of clockwork or something and what's funny is it's actually not that far from the truth unlike a lot of animals the way these guys actually move is really strange. They have muscles inside their cephalothorax here that actually work as like a hydraulic pump. And they have this fluid inside their body. It's kind of like their blood, but it's called hemolymph. And when they flex those muscles in certain ways, they can pump that hemolymph into individual legs to create motion. So they actually work as like a hydraulic animal, which is honestly insane. And thinking about them as almost kind of like little robots moving around the environment, makes them a lot less freaky than these, you know, ambiguous, venomous, biting spiders. I think it is an absolutely fascinating locomotion method. Makes them all the more curious to interact with in the wild. Now the tarantulas we have here in the Western Hemisphere are what we refer to as new world tarantulas. And the reason that they make such great spider ambassadors is because, yeah, they have that creepy kind of movement, but for the most part, they're extremely placid and almost kind of just bumbling little spiders. Now, of course, their appearance is a little creepy looking at first glance, but it's not that it's inherently scary. Their appearance is just so different than ours. I mean, we have four limbs, two eyes, we our, our bones are on the inside. With tarantulas, they have eight legs, big old venomous fangs, and they don't have bones. They have an exoskeleton. They're weird and different, and it does make them kind of scary. But that appearance and all the weird parts of their anatomy are actually vital to their survival. All the weird little hairs and beady little eyes and big old fangs they have are super fine-tuned by millions 
millions of years of evolution, making them perfectly adapted for the environments they live in and the roles they play. And so it makes them so fascinating to actually work with in the wild. You know, when I say that I'm looking for the secrets of the natural world, oftentimes it's just taking a closer look at an animal we thought we were familiar with and finding all kinds of new things about it. Other times it is going after an animal that most people don't ever get to see, like the purple bloom bird eater we're actually after. And if you're new here and want to come along for that adventure or any of the other adventures, taking a closer look at all of the crazy creatures that surround us every day, consider subscribing to the channel. We have new discoveries every Saturday evening and we'd be really happy to have you. See right here, the only thing she is worried about is what I'm gonna do next. Because while this is a big spider, look at how much bigger I am than this animal is. The only creature who could make a case for their life being at stake is the spider. Because while I would never do this, I could, you know, take my take my shoe and smash it. This spider is significantly smaller, and I am a much bigger threat to this spider than she could ever be to me. As a big point I like to make with these videos is humans are encroaching on the habitats of many of these creatures every single day. And not only are we big enough to kill an individual, but our activities are wiping these guys out in the thousands just because we're clearing the habitat that they need to survive. These guys are disappearing from the face of the earth. And honestly, that's a that's a shame. You know, this this is one of the few preserves of dry forest here in Ecuador. And as we've seen through our hikes in this area, like we've seen tons and tons of these spiders. But the minute you step outside this protected forest grounds, these are nowhere to be seen. The ecosystem is a very delicate balance. Like I said, it's like a it's like a parallel world that exists alongside ours. All kinds of tiny creatures that live out these complex lives that we don't even really see on a daily basis if you're not looking for it. And these guys are part of that world. And the thing is, we don't know what the world looks like without them. Taking some time to actually take a closer look and ask questions about these creatures rather than running away in fear, not only can we discover some of their amazing secrets, but we can see that just like us, they're simple creatures trying to make their way in the universe and absolutely deserve respect, admiration, and appreciation. I never pass up an opportunity to work with a beautiful tarantula like this. And I gotta say, exploring the jungles of South America has been a heck of a treat, seeing these huge spiders doing amazing in their natural habitat. Spiders are among the most feared animals on the planet, but when we take a closer look, we can actually see some of the incredible biology they have, and maybe even appreciate that they are beautiful in their own alien-looking way. This golden tarantula was an absolute darling, and as she disappears back into her environment, let's appreciate another fleeting encounter with a creature from the secret world. These animals are incredibly misunderstood, but are a pivotal part of the world we live in, and the better we understand them, the better we all can coexist. Another group of animals that cause a ton of fear in people are snakes, especially venomous ones. But how much should we really fear them? In this video, I got hands-on, literally, with a rattlesnake. So check it out to find out exactly how aggressive these reptiles truly are. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.